Hey everybody, it's John Breaker here. It's been a couple of days since I've given you an update. I'm getting ready to caulk the sink. Hopefully this will go well. I took my shop back with a, a brush adapter and got everything, uh, got all the debris out. Um, you can see here I took a basically my um, dremel with a with a router bit and routed out about an eighth of an inch down where that fits just below flush so that gives me a little room um, a little room underneath for some plumber's putty so I'm looking forward to that it's, it's a little rough but I'll fill in uh, maybe a little little wood putty there before I paint it um, I'm basically going to caulk all the seams up and along the edges um, with this uh, Loctite PL that Michael Corbett recommended. Appreciate that, Michael. Uh, the only place I'm a little concerned about is right here. See, there's just like a, well, it goes to about an eighth of an inch down, over about a six or seven inch span. But this this putty, this, um, this uh, caulk will fill it. I'm not too worried about it. And of course, I've got my can of uh, garage floor paint down on the bottom, down on the floor. So I'll uh, come back in a few minutes after I've caulked it. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. I'm not too good at this, but we'll get it sealed. Okay, I managed to get this done uh, without too much of a, too much of a mess. I, well, I really kind of suck at caulking. I'm not terrible at painting, but I hope I'm a better darkroom aficionado than I am a caulker because, but I managed to get it all sealed up. We'll let this set overnight. Um, tomorrow I will, tomorrow evening I'll try to get the, the larger table done. And once I get that done in here, then I'll bust open this can of garage floor paint and I'll paint the sink as well as the larger table. After that, I've got to figure out my water panel. If nothing else, just a, a, a simple mixing valve, which I, I have a mixing valve and a couple of spigots. Uh, I've got a buddy, the guy that helped me build the dark room, has got all the tools and I'm sure he's got a little extra of this uh, PEX and clamps laying around that I could use to assemble a small water panel and just mount it right there on the wall. Matter of fact, I've got this leftover piece of plywood, which I will also paint with the garage floor paint. And uh, we'll do that. Um, only other thing that I found, I haven't put baseboard down yet, but I did find in trying to seal the door up uh, the other night that uh, I've got light leaking in underneath the, uh, the footer boards because the Basement floors are notoriously not level, so there are a couple of gaps. So I took some black latex caulk. I don't know if you can see it along there, and I just basically squirted it underneath there, and that took care of the problem. I also got the door sealed up with some window uh, rubber, which actually worked better by putting it on the door. So I've got it around this side and down this side. And then in here, I just have some foam, which worked real well. And then on the bottom of the door, I put a rubber door sweep that's actually screwed to the bottom of the door. And if I turn the lights out, you'll see a little light coming in, but, uh, well, not really very much. <laughs> it's pretty darn light tight. So there's a... Maybe a little bit cutting in right down here, which this camera's not sensitive enough. So there's a couple of little spots seeping in around the bottom of the door. But you know, it really, really is not that big a deal at that point because it's over here. You know, largers and trays will be over here, so I could probably put a towel down or something to to finish that off. So. We are making progress. I was hoping to be printing this weekend, but it's probably gonna be next weekend. But 
I'm hoping to get some prints out to some of you guys that you have gotten to know. So, might be after Christmas. Hey, keep on fixing. <laughs>